Yo guys, welcome to a new video. I know it's been a while. I've been really trying to figure out what I should do with the channel in terms of content moving forward and how I can make the content better for the viewers. So today, I'm gonna to try something different. I'm gonna do voiceovers for the majority of the video, just to see how that goes. So it's like, it'll be a day in the life for voiceovers and stuff. Um, I've actually got a new job. I managed to get a new job. It's a GDK, German Dunn Kebab, if you know what that is. It's a kebab place. Pretty nice. I want to shout out to um, Zam for getting me the job. Love, bro. Uh, but yeah, from this point, going forward, I'm just going to be hearing me speak, but not directly to you. Kind of like in the rating. Bye. Time. A common misconception with young athletes and young aspiring business people in any field is that we have enough time or that we have more than enough time. We tend to sit back and think that I'm only 16 years old, I'm only 17. Some may even say I'm only 20. They may choose to enjoy their younger years. Whilst that may not be a problem, but when you're chasing greatness, you just do not have enough time. A lot of us young people live in a false insecurity with the amount of time we have to waste on meaningless things. But the people that I'm trying to speak to right now are people that are chasing greatness. People that want to change their life and their family's life. I'm not speaking from a point of someone that has used their time wisely 100% of the time, but I'm speaking from a point of view of someone that is striving to make sure that each second that I live and each hour that I live, day by day, gets me closer to my goals. And this mean this incorporates an array of different things. This doesn't mean that I'm working out 24-7, because I'm not. You can't. You do need to stop. The greats know when to stop. But that still means you have to strike when the iron's hot. Or I'd say you have to make sure the iron stays hot. Use your time wisely. Naturally, a lot of people would say I'm an extremely impatient person. So doing tedious tasks like making that box as you see me making in the video right now does get extremely annoying. But I would look at it from a different point of view. As I said, I want to make sure that the time that I'm using day to day helps me get closer to my goals. So I view it from a different point of view. I view it as if I'm training my mind to be able to withstand the tedious tasks that life will bring. Now, you could say I'm just stretching it, but it helps me get through the day. So today's an active rest day. As you see me, I'm in the gym, fine tuning working on the small details. Now I believe it's the small things that help you surpass your opponents and help you become great. Not everyone wants to do them. I don't go out there and enjoy what I do. I would be lying to you right now if I told you I enjoy every little bit of it, but I'm addicted to results. So you see, right now I'm just working on some knee movements just to strengthen my knees and then I'll move on to flexibility and some mobility stuff flexibility and mobility yeah now i believe that this is me utilizing my time correctly because i could have easily gone home from work and decided to try to do it at home but i knew that the mindset that i'm in when i'm in the gym is completely different so i put myself in the best spot to utilize my time as you see me doing some death jumps there with my knees. These are very good. I do recommend doing death jumps. Now, just to make sure that we're all on the same page, this video is in no way me trying to boast about how much time I'm spending on my goals or trying to throw in anyone's face that is struggling with time management. I believe this is extremely important as it helps you stay organized and helps you stay on top of what you need to stay on top of. 
depending on whatever you want to be this is not just prof- for people that want to be professional athletes this is for anyone that wants to succeed at anything in life you just need to utilize your time and it won't start by making a big jump into your schedule and you know cutting things off court turkey like using your phone or playing games this needs to happen gradually but as long as you know that deep down in your heart you feel the pressure and you know that time is running out because a lot of the time we get comfortable with the voice in our head that says you know you've had enough you you're you're good you know you're ahead of the competition there's no need for you to train right now just take time and relax but you don't want to take time and relax i mean of course you do sometimes but you don't want that to be the majority of your day now you have to make sure that you're working towards what you want to be in life i mean in this video you will hardly see me smile and that doesn't mean that i'm not enjoying my life Obviously, at the end of the day, I'm happy that I spent time wisely. But in the moment, I want to go home, really and truly. I really did want to go home. Now, this is a funny video right here because it shows me running towards to get the train, right? But it took time for me to place the camera down, go back, run. And then I had to run to my train because of the time it took. Now, is that me utilizing my time wisely? I'd say yes because this video was for the viewers. And I hope you enjoyed this. Please let me know how it goes. But before I leave you, you need to try this. This right here is beautiful. Beautiful. I will make sure you get a good view of it so you can go find it. Let me know down below in the comments if you've had the comment you know, in the comments if you've had anything like it. Yes, just remember that none of this is gonna be easy. And if I had it my way, I really wish that. Time never matter.